so hello friends in this particular video now we are going to discuss about hus that is hemolytic uremic syndrome in previous video we have discussed about a lot on the blood okay so in this video we are going to focus on the hus that is hemolytic uremic syndrome so let's start so this hus is basically characterized by the first feature is there will be renal abnormalities okay then you will get again mahayar that is microangiopathic hemolytic anemia then you will also encounter thrombocytopenia okay so these are the three basic characteristics which you will encounter in hus clear now hus is associated with your normal adam ts13 level okay clear now hus is again divided into two types that is uh, typical hus and atypical hus okay this is the division of your hus hemolytic uremic syndrome typical and atypical first we will focus on typical type of hus clear my friends first we are going to focus on the typical hus so it is associated with your infection or gastroenteritis okay which is caused generally by your e coli okay e coli strain particularly that is o157 87 okay clear so typical hus is associated with infection gastroenteritis which is caused by e coli strain that is o157 87 which elaborates your it elaborates siga like toxin okay it, it, it elaborates siga like toxin and this siga like toxin is absorbed from gi mucosa into circulation leading to increased platelet platelet activation and aggregation clear and uh, in, in this children children are at greater risk for this typical hus okay so children are at greater risk and what are the clinical features so clinical feature is same that is bloody diarrhea okay there will be bloody diarrhea and uh, the second is uh, okay so bloody diarrhea so this is the important thing which okay other things which are not uh, so important so bloody diarrhea is important thing that which are in the diagnosis of typical hus clear now moving to the atypical so atypical hus is basically due to defect in your complement factor h or there will be defect in cd46 that is membrane cofactor protein or there is defect in factor 1 okay and these all defects will lead to increase activation of sorry sorry influence okay that will lead to sorry that will lead to increase activation of your alternative complement pathway and there will be increase uh, destruction clear yeah. so this is your atypical hus now how you will treat the patient of hus that is important so for treatment the first is your hydration because of the idea we will give hydration therapy then treatment of hus is basically and uh, primarily your supportive okay in hus we provide supportive treatment clear yeah. now uh, 40% of uh, children require at least some period of support with dialysis in severe cases also okay and in d minus hus okay so in d minus hus mortality rate is higher and in d plus hus 40% children at least require some period of support with your dialysis clear okay? then therapeutic antibody that uh, causes inhibition Okay, that causes inhibition of the activation of your C5 complement protein can also be used here. Clear? That means C5 inhibitors can also be administered. And we generally avoid antibiotics and anti-mortality agents. Okay. And the basis of diagnosis is your CBC. Okay. Then your CMP. Then your peripheral blood smear. Then we'll look for LDH and hepatoglobin. And the final is your stool culture. Okay, so this is about your HUS. So thank you.